Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. Now does Q and E rotate? It doesn't. Some games it does. I'll just rotate with my mouse here. I started over in here because I did something in between episodes. Here are the three original hunting camps in Gandalf versus the other three that we put in to kind of push us a little bit closer to the herd, which at the moment is sitting out in the open and they, boy, they are thick, meaty, muscly. They look like, I don't know, those remind me of caribou. More so than just deer. Oh, they're on their way. Where are they going? They seem to be just migrating randomly now. Hello, guys. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm rabbit trailing again. I took the roads out from around the original hunting area that I had placed through here to make it easier for them to go in and grab the uh, grab the, the the carcass and drive drag it back and process it, like we like he's doing right there or pretending to. But I don't know that that didn't cause the problem so I pulled it out see what happens long term I don't think I did that anywhere else now there are no roads in there and Gimli can I find Gimli you're over here did I do that here nope I did not run any roads up into there either so Gandalf now is the only one that doesn't have deer in the right place and Gandalf is the only one I ran roads into the area so I'm curious to see if they ever migrate back. Let's go peek at them again. They, well, the bulk of them are still here. They didn't go very far. And it looks like one just got taken down. He's, he's laying right there. Yeah, he's, he's still, he's sneaking up on it just in case it twitches. <laughs> anyway, one thing I would like to do is to get as many tier one homes upgraded to tier two as I can so that they can be wearing gambesons. And then, of course, as we get more armor being created, you know, chain mail or eventually the uh, plate mail for the retinues, I want to be upgrading the twos to threes to get them even better armor. So log, is, a log production is going to be pretty important. Uh, where are we at? 22 timber. It's four per, so I'm not going to get a lot done. But we can get you food stall. So only certain ones are going to let me. Ah, there's one. So I'll pop you in. Nobody's living here yet. Which is which means they're not going to be satisfied. Okay. So we've got this run over here. Anything in here? You. There we go. Two. And the whole ground cleared for that. Interesting. Let's grab this corner over here. Three. And you can do it. And can I get one more? Five. And. Ooh, six. I, did I miscount? Or did we get more logs all of a sudden? We're down to one. Okay, we're done. Now, I don't have a family out there, so who can I steal? Um, well, who's stealing my logs? Saw pit. Let's get rid of you. Now we have a family to build. Let's grab a second family. Large granary. That other storehouse. You were kind of extra. I'm going to rob one of you. Two families to do that building. And seems like we moved the 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 the, the work area. That's what it's called. Uh, the joiner still got a problem. The work area to closer to the logging camp. Is that right? Now I don't remember. Actually, I think I just moved it up into here. Yeah, what are you? You are, yep, there we go. So you guys are up in here. So it's it's a quick drag back to, to the, the logging camp. We could move you into here too. Fletcher's shop, okay, okay. Well, we'll go look over here. So you are full. Let's just pause you for a while. Warbows, 100. We'll save the planks. And we won't deal with that at the moment. The other one was the joiner shop. Did you ever get emptied out? You're basically there too. You're making large shields. We don't need large shields right now. We have plenty. So let's shift you over to... I think I had ramped up large shield production when I was about to set more companies. And then realized I can't. I'm, I'm at my limit. So that's there. So what are we doing over here? 
You are still making spears, which we probably have way too many of now. Ah, uh, you're right there. Pull arms? Not as way too many, so let's do that. Uh, how many pull arms are sitting over here? So, 13. So I set up the trade posts to distribute weapons to make sure that there are at least 30 of everything that we use. Stone Church. Where is that? Gimli. Um, so, spears, gamisons, mail armor, pull arms, war bows, large shields, helmets, plate armor, 20 over here, just in case we lose a retinue. We, they get wiped out. I gotta buy a new retinue, and they need new plate armor over here already. So, there's 20 sitting over in this area. So, same numbers on all three. Actually, no, just two. Uh, we're not going to have any soldiers over here in Gimli. We've, we've used up everything before we ever got to Gimli. Is that right? Samwise, Gimli's only going to have a retinue. So Gimli's trading post will say zero on all those things, meaning anything they make, they're going to start shipping out to the other two. And eventually I'll switch that over to foreign trade so they can start selling them and making more of a profit. We still have 100 coins over here, so we're, we're doing okay. Um... So I wanted to verify, where am I? Over here. What you guys are actually making and do we need them? So let's switch the blacksmith over to pull arms. Okay. Um, two slabs, one slab, one slab. So two slabs for, for a sidearm, a single slab for tools. As far as something to make for profit, what is it? Uh, trade and tools. Where are you? Here? Here? Where are tools? You're not a weapon, are you? Commodity? Commodity. Get okay, you sell for some unknown amount that we will never be able to figure out until we've spent the money. That's a little frustrating. So I don't know if I want to be working on, on small shields. Actually, over here. If I want to be making tools when we're all weaponed out. Or do I want to be making spears or pole arms at one slab and a plank? I see the difference, okay? Versus you're just a slab or you are two slabs. So a little different uh, formula for each one. Anyway, you can be doing that. You are not a thing. You are armor shop. Because I didn't know if I was going to have two blacksmiths at one point. Um, you are just making helmets right now. And I need you to make as many as you can. You know, I really need helmets. More so than I need all the rest of it. Let's use all of the the slabs that we actually have making helmets okay so can I pop one more of these real quick do I have it I do and one more I do oh that's nice okay so you guys do all that we just rolled into January um, you are already a level two so that takes care of that whole roll yeah I got all those and we'll start working up and down these rows next so that all these soldiers will be qualified to use at least the gamisons that we had we had 26 extra of so we're gradually starting to use them which means we got to get gamison production up and going again we were setting up clothes you're probably over here and i guess they're being taken just as fast let's go to totals clothes 19 so they're that either means they're in the stalls or they're in house storage i'm not sure which does house storage show clothes uh general yeah, that's helmets, no. So it, there is not a clothes option here. So maybe that means in the in the uh, clothing stalls. Maybe there are clothes in there somewhere. Uh, right there, zero clothes. Where's another clothing stall? I just saw one right there. There's one. Yeah, there's 16 of them sitting right there. Okay, so they're available to sell. And we don't have enough for everyone, so it's still a, list, a zero here. All right, so that takes care of storage problems. It takes care of getting some more builders out there. We just got another family in, so that'll help too. We're making logs as fast as we possibly can. Our peoples are out dropping trees. And, well, you're actually visiting a storehouse for some reason. And all the rest of them are doing busy works. Yeah. Now over here in Gimli, I see we have three families available too, and it really does say Gimli. Oh, good. <laughs> um, we set up some houses. 
And I think we got some future market stalls here and there. You were further down. That's where you are. And I was reminded in the comments to also remember to put in wells. So definitely want some emergency water sources around here. There's got to be a well over in this area. Here a shrine. Are there really no wells beyond that? I guess there aren't. Okay. Well, then I am putting one over in here. Get rid of snap. Rotate you like so. Actually, probably more like that, right? Well, that's kind of hard to squeeze it in there. Let's go over here. Is it possible to work it into right there? Okay. You're going to be there. And we can put another one over here. That would be fine. And another one over here. Where? Okay, pull back. It's winter time, so it's hard to see the, the aquifers underneath. So we're here. Big noise. Pause. Everything stutters and shakes. I'm looking for aquifers. Nothing. And thank goodness it wasn't a big box right over here saying that my region is being claimed or something. I was just watching Half-Wit Brit. Yeah, yeah. His, his main central province, the Baron, decided he wanted it instead. And he's, he's, <laughs> he's going through a thing right now. <laughs> so well over there, a well over there, a well over here. Do we want one in this area too? Can we put one in this area too? Do that again. We can. I did. That's right there. Okay. And let's see this area down here we just put in. I think we had a well right in this area. Would we'll have put that in right at the beginning. Okay. There's no water over here. There is water in this area. And we have one right there. And there's no water at that end. So we have water deeper in. We have water this way. We have water this way. I think that is mission accomplished for now. Okay. What just happened? Bandit camp was sighted. All right. Well, let's get moving in that direction. Anything else? Oh, interesting. Where are you? Where are we? You just landed. You're heading to your... Oh, 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 oh. I said, hey, they're already here. Attack! So they're going to come in here and and pick a fight and regret it afterward. We're a little too uh, combat heavy for them. Cohesion plus 17. Okay, set you guys to stand your ground and give them time to get here. So, Gimli. Um, that's right, so I was saying that Halfwit Brit's got an attack coming in and Simi over there, a Simidium, he is trying to get himself ready just to go and poke the Baron in the eye. So he's going to go pick a fight soon. That's, that's going to be a, an interesting episode when that one hits. So be sure to keep track of his series. Over in here, we put a lot of houses in. Right? Why am I not seeing it? I saw the, the three over here, and they seem to be all built. So expansion-wise, we've got two voids over here. And last I checked, we only have one void over here, and it's full. So we still need more houses. Food over here, down to four months, though. So we need to think. Oh, I right-clicked and moved my troops. Yeah, I don't even notice this is all still here. So I right-clicked to get this, this clutter off of my screen. And, yeah, okay. So you guys just kind of reposition right in there. You'll be fine. There you go. So they're still over there. Um, so I wanted to check in and make sure. Click away from all this now. What is happening as far as as iron production over here while, while we're waiting for those troops to arrive? So we've got 13 slabs, 140 iron ore. So iron ore is coming in a lot faster. We only have... Let's put one in there. And did we get this built? We did. Both of you go in there, please. Okay. Four bloomery to one iron worker. Iron miner for now. Uh, there we are. And that will hopefully be a good balance. It's probably like a two to one. Probably two iron workers 
to four bloomery workers would maintain a, a, a good balance. Question is going to be how do we move the... Can I do that in time? How do we move the, uh, the iron faster toward the blacksmith and armorer? Um, I want to drop into here. There we go. There's no pausing now, so I just have to get my butt moving and run up there. Of course, any second they're going to start running. There they go. And we're about to have a, a 4.9 earthquake. Oh, didn't bounce when you're this far away. Okay. But we have some cheerleaders in the middle here. I saw them. And they finally walked over to join the, the fray. And, oh, took him down. Oh, stabbed him in the chest. Over here. That another one went down. I'll tell you, some of these guys are brutal. And we're done. Okay. I'm just kind of running around in my, my, my cape and tights. <laughs> And long pointy shoes. All right, we were over here when that happened. We still have 24. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight managed to escape. All right, so banner's still up and running. And you guys are going to go take a trip over here and claim some goods. And we just had a strange little, uh, little pause there. You're definitely walking into the camp now, so we should get that noticed. All right. I was asked when we are going to make our first attack at the Baron. This guy, Hildebolt von Baronroot. I'm going to wait until we've got some uh, some armor on our, our little dudes. A lot of our guys, well, it's not a good town to demonstrate it, but all of our first levels have no armor at all. They have some helmets, as many as we've been able to make. Um, I believe all of our level twos will be gambesoned because we've still got... Oh, we got 31. Oh, it's the Samwise. Okay. I thought it was like 16 or 17 a little while ago. Um, so they're good. Our tier threes have nothing. Although I, apparently they do have the leftovers for when they were a level two. A tier two house, so they do have something on them, but I would love to get some chain mail on them, I really would. So, our blacksmith is making spears um, I'm sorry, swords really just to give them something to, to sell. So, in that case, if we went to these guys' tools, and what was that last noise? A well went in, okay then we'd only be using half of the iron slabs. Let's seriously think about that. We're at 130 over here. Trading posts. We trade crafting commodity. There you are. It's going to cost 120 to set up the route. It is a major trade. It would be worth selling. There is a good income source for them. They don't need to spend the iron on weapons at this time. We're doing pretty good. So let's buy that. It's going to cost us everything. But we'll be able to sell them after this point. We're going to maintain, send you to export. You will be foreign and maintain a quantity of zero. So that gives them something to sell and they can be making that. Armor, we do want to make as many helmets as we can. And you are set up to trade armor, helmets... Maintain zero, because we don't have any troops over here. So the 16, that will be headed out in-house to both Gandalf and Samwise as they need them. So they should be calling for... This is kind of the, the core of this new trading system I'm doing. So trading weapons in-house helmets give us up to 30. Now as they come in... They will immediately be dropped into houses, and this number will keep dropping to zero over and over again until everybody's got them. Then it'll build up to 30, then they won't buy anymore. And then when we have a battle and a bunch of our dudes get wiped out and we need to hire a bunch more uh, militia and they all need helmets again, we've got at least 30 already sitting in town 
because I put all of our minimums to 30. So we can start equipping that first wave of replacements while Gimli is now sending more over as this 30 starts to drop down to zero because we've used them all. So just an automatic refilling system without having to manually go and do it each time. It's already set. Uh, you go into the treasury. We will be outfitting all of our of our retinue soon but i want to see if we can get to the point where we can make our own so what does that mean Kimberly? i need you to go through this one and go through this one so that is point one two three so four and five okay and i don't have a point now no so pull out of you and four is three level threes and a bunch more a couple more so five more i can't move my mouse five more level twos we need two of them and three of them are going to be converted over to three so five more twos so that's kind of what i was wanting to work on here now let's go get these guys moved you you were in the perfect place i didn't have to do anything for that battle i wish the other two wilderness spots were close enough to do that too as well but you guys head back over here Set up something like that and park yourselves and, and take a vacation. Are we running? We're running. Gimli, how, how quickly, what do we have? We have a lot of timber. Not a lot of planks in that we're using the planks. So it's not like those are freebies. So that was armor shop. Cobbler, we need some food over here. Need another stall, apparently. We've got four months of food. General... You guys are just making shoes. And leather in this area is 128. We have no hides coming in. So our tanner doesn't necessarily need to be there. Except he could be running a clothing stall. Well, there is that. But take you out. We have more builders. We'll go that route. So we can bring you. Oh, in order to get to a number two we need to satisfy everything right now it's it's another variety of food okay well uh food is we're just kind of down to well we do have three kinds now because we're trading them in that's right so you're going to be bringing in whatever food you can afford we just spend it all but that'll change here quickly food wise Whoever has more than 100 meat, and we saw last episode that Gandalf has 300 and some meat, they will be shipping it out, and, and this one will be shipping it in until we hit 100. Whoever has more than 100 berries, whoever has more than 100 bread, Samwise has already got that, so Samwise is starting to dis distribute to everybody, and we're going to be making our own bread here soon too. Vegetables, I set them all for hundreds, and it seems like Gandalf had quite a few vegetables. Queen Gandalf, yeah. So vegetables, 155, yeah. So 55 should already be working their way over into here. Vegetables, there's 60 of them right there. All ready to head on out to whoever needs it. So this system, I think, is working great. Look at all of the, the extras, all of the surplus that we don't truly need that are sitting in place or are on the way in. This barley... We're not selling it. It's It just arrived. So we're just waiting now for a weaver, I guess. No, barley. A malt house worker. Do we have somebody in the malt house? You're here? We do. So people, you are all waiting. Why are you waiting? Why aren't you going over to get that barley? Huh. Got to figure that one out. Do they get their own? Or do the, the unassigned families distribute as well as build don't know with certainty those answers but so food wise we have food so how do we get more food stalls up and going so we get more variety click on a market and food variety is 70 we need more food stalls we have the goods we just don't have the distribution system so that would be more easily a market granary i'm sorry granary Another person in there. It could be someone that makes food, like a hunting camp. But I kind of want them doing their own thing. Now, one family could main, kind of maintain this if they didn't do anything else. So let's do that. You guys 
could, and you are. So you're already running a booth. You're making bread. You're making it slowly, but you're making bread. You guys don't do it. Tra uh, who else would it be? It would be the forager huts, but they're not around all year long. When they are, I want them busy. You only work seasonal, too, so there's no point in turning you on as a food stall. So it really comes down to another family in the granary in order to get one more food stall in. So we were at 70%, clicking there again, marketplace, 65% now. Okay, and that meat, wasn't that 20 or 30 before? So it moved pretty quickly. Okay, maybe you got loaded up into one of the stalls. Um, so level one houses, I need to find the ones that I want to know. I'm still waiting on making them happy again. Okay, let's do that then. You and food variety. You guys are happy. You'll do it. And you will do it. Okay, food variety. Any other greens? Hey, if you pin it, it won't do that. Right there, 63%. And that is it. Uh, over here? There we go. We can upgrade these guys. So you head up. Let's get a whole... Well, the more you upgrade, though, the more picky and fussy they're going to be about needing more things. So there is that too. But it... Okay, let's stop there. So our goal here is not to get everybody in Gamesons because we don't have any troops over here. Our goal here is to satisfy all of these needs so we can get the two extra points. So we're probably going to need yet another five or six of them in order to go to the next level beyond this. The ten uh, tier threes. But it's three tier threes right now. So I need... Boy, I need a couple of... Don't, I, I doubt I have any Tier 3s that are happy enough to upgrade right now. I doubt it. Yeah, Tier 2s. So clothing is a yes. Fuel is a yes. we got to deal with food. That may not work or be any, you know, be good until we get into berry season. Though, no, we don't have any funds. Okay. I was going to say we could get some more chickens going, and that's a quick food source. But that'll be fine. Let's wait until these guys sell some of their tools and some more of their shields. And we'll we'll get those we'll get some funds into town. And I just gotta notice that the church's generic storage is full, which doesn't make any sense, except they just finished building it. I think we saw that pop up at the beginning of the episode. And they left all their building supplies behind. And I've seen that happen before, too, so I don't know what that is, unless it is actually the supplies that were used for scaffolding or something, and then it just gets dumped and hauled back out again. But there's five timbers and ten planks just sitting here. And on my way to Samwise, I really should get our retinue up and going here. We can certainly afford it now. Retinue is at ten. But I'll probably just end up waiting until we're attacked and then do it in a panic. But yeah, that, that does need to happen soon. But we haven't been to Samwise yet this episode, so I should spend some time over here. I need this to go away without accidentally sending those troops somewhere. Um, all right, so we are all planted. And we're, everything is growing. We are chewing up the, the grains. Uh, there's no wheat left. There's a lot of flax. And get back to the trading system. Flax. We're maintain we're we're keeping a hundred of everything. After a hundred, we're willing to send it out. It's only gonna go out to Gandalf. Because Gandalf is the only other one with a weaver. Gimli is going to just concentrate on metal. So they too are that's interesting. That should have been a 100. So try to maintain 100 over here and here. Okay. So maintain the same quantities over in this side too. So as you've got extra barley and extra... Barley is only 91. So that's all we brought in. So they can send over... You well, know, over 100 they would send over some extra. So our malt house is going to be using a little bit of it, but not much. Then they're going to be sending over extra of the ale. So let's take a look at that. Trade, that's commodities? Yeah. So anything over 50. So they'll use their extra 91 to make a whole bunch of ale. And everything over 50, they will then send off. 
to the other two towns, which will then collect until we've got, uh, that's probably the logging camp, until we've got 50 sitting over here. Trade, you, and 50. So we'll start buying it till we get to 50. We'll be making our own with a little bit of barley that did come over. And somebody did grab it. Unless it's the other building. Did I do this one? No. And that one. No, there it is. There's nine over here now. So, yep. Little by little, they'll evenly distribute goods throughout so that everything can function. You are likely the... You're not taking me anywhere. There we go. Right there. So you need a new area. I wanted to clean up the last of the logs. And they always seem to leave one log and then ignore it. And then say, oh, I, I can't reach that log anymore. Yeah. Let's have you guys clear out. Let's see you. And advanced. Let's have you guys clear out this area. Let's shrink it down a little bit, though. And I really need to take the time to get all of the foresters plotted out again and figure out where they can be planting trees. But, yeah, I'll, I'll try to remember to do that between episodes. I want to spend some time over here. You are just unhappy peoples. Um, we're still have folks coming in, though. Trade-wise, Samwise is making... Roofing tiles, and we have a lot of them. So what is going on with that? You trade construction roofing tiles is set to sell to foreign traders as well. We're only going to maintain 50 of our own, so there's 300 of them able to go out. We have the route bought. So I'm assuming that means not only just our own people and you people should be, in fact, this move you this way. So, trading, transporting, transporting, trading. So, there's two traders in this one. And going home, going home. I have two traders out of eight. Livestock, yes, yes. Okay, a lot of noises in the background. So, only two are actually out there actively trading. Uh, what's in here? No, we've got a whole selection. And you, and, come on, out of my way, there, uh, yep, quite a bit of things have been moved in and out to move around, so, it's working, if I could just get them to work, but buying those dedicated trade routes, that should mean that somebody else will be coming in to buy our goods too, right? That's my impression, it, it hires a free trader. A, tra a trader of those routes. Okay. Well, I don't see anybody specifically, but really they could be coming from any direction. They can be coming through Gandalf and working their way down this this uh, this this woods, this forest road, into the heart of our town. That probably is a route that a lot of the traders now take. Yeah, these are traders. Uh, trader Linhard. I think you're one of ours, and you are a trader. Gandalf. Okay. This one does not say Gandalf. So does that mean it's Samwise because we're in Samwise so we don't have to distinguish whereas this one's from a different town? Could be. You're, wait, you're, hold on. You're Linhart the trader and you're trading. Um, I hate to inform you but I think somebody cloned you because you are Linhart the trader and you are trading. Okay, that face and that coat and zoom in over here different face and different coat okay they just had a shortage of names one year so everybody got called the same name but samwise has 30 timber 172 planks samwise is making a joiner there you are making shields to sell um are they doing well price wise Trade shields over here, and you're still at five. Okay, and you're selling them outside of. That's good. Okay, um, let's get a bunch of these number ones ranked up to twos. I'm trying to figure out where to go first. Let's kind of stay central here, so you you guys cannot do it. Okay, give me a market. And what are we lacking? You there we are. So we're lacking a little bit of food variety. 100% and everything else is just food. Alright, so that means that this whole area over here can do it. You're there. 
You are there. And who's left in here? You are. Uh, did I get the right one? No, there. You're already done. Looking at the roofs. All the thatch roofs. So you are done. Or need to be done. So everything else looks like level 2. Okay. Um, can I... I can't really do anything this way, right? It tells me you're all short of of ale. This tells me you guys are short of food and firewood. Okay. So I'm looking for a one that is, zoom out a little, that is happy. So you, like so. Now doing so means they're going to need more goods. So more food variety. And I assume that means... Well, you, you tell me. Does that mean that they're now going to eat more food variety? Or they just need it present? So are they going to eat two different foods every month? Uh, two different kinds? Or are they still eating one a month? But they are not happy if there aren't more more variety. So how does how exactly does that work? Over in here, well, that's quite a few queued up. I think I'm going to stop right there. So Gandalf... Let's see if we can add a few more to you. And what do we need to move up? We need 15. We're, we're, we're good, except for five more level threes. Okay. Maybe we should go for that. Level threes, I want this whole road done. So I may as well just set it if it'll let me. Let's do it. You. You. And we're probably going to run out of logs here soon. So you're working. You're working. Brewery. Yeah, we'll do. Yep, that's three. I need two more. Do we have it? We are out of logs. Okay. So that should give us level... Our sixth point when we hit 15 tier threes. Okay. So I need two more. need more logs. I did set you. I did. And we've got three families doing it. Another tree just went down. Logs. War, timber. One. And people... You're all out there working as hard as you can. Only a few uh, slackers that are still at home. <laughs> and one is still one. Okay. So you're good over there. What else do we really need to be doing? We're in January. We could see what's been happening. It's just an awful lot of upgrading. We could also be setting a lot more chickens and goats. And I wanted this whole run over here chickens at one time. I don't, and, and goats, I don't know how much of that I actually did. We, can you see that? No, you can't see the chicken. But I know these are chickens. You are, do we need more leather and hides? I don't think we do. Let's concentrate on eggs. Oh, that wasn't an egg. Yeah. Okay, well, you got a bonus. Hello. Tax increase. Going on real close to that 500 mark. You are chicken. And you... How did you not work last time? I clicked the wrong thing. And you... I could swap you back out. It would be a waste of only 15. Yeah, let's do it. I wanted chickens. We have a lot of vegetables. Let's get eggs enough to distribute to all the other towns. That's the goal there. We learned our lesson when we had that food crisis. This town is going to be self-contained now. So you guys, we've got the funds, we do. Let's chicken you guys out as well. Click, 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 you're being upgraded. You need to also be upgraded, but I can't, so we'll chicken you instead. And you can be, let's do you. And I can't do both at the same time. You guys are what? You're chickens. <laughs> and you are chickens, okay. We'll stop there. That's a lot of improvement. And these four families are going to be so tired. Do we have any more logs? Those chickens, I don't think they took logs. So can I do the two more houses yet? You, joiner shop, <clears throat> cobbler. We're eventually going to do them all. We are. I still need logs. Okay. So that takes care of that mess for a while. Let's check out sheep. We've been buying them. So... Eventually, we're going to end up with 40 adults. Because we ordered, we had 10 and we ordered 30 more. So we're going for 40. And we still have the 12 lambs. So the only way I'm going to know if they advanced, you know, the lambs became sheep, is if we get the 30 in. And then 
we'll do a final count to see if there's more than the 30 in there. Um, we have two families in here now going off and doing the buying, and they are all out there doing the buying. Let's put one more in. Let's get the, the sheep in as quick as possible so that we can check that out. And I had asked them to bring in horses. That's right. Uh, horses, we have seven. Okay, so pause. I don't want those seven to run away or to be sold off. So you are now going to be in-house only, and I want to take this down to four, and I want you to sell those three at 20 over to Gimli. And Gimli is now... I didn't go where I thought I was. Right here. Going to be with their two families who were waiting had nothing to do. Let's get one of you a new job. You're gone. But you guys are going to be bringing in horses in-house up to four. Paying 20. Perfect. So that is the way it was supposed to work. So eventually when all the sheep come in and we do our count and see whether or not the lambs are actually growing up or not and what have you, then I will release a bunch of those sheep over here to Samwise at a reduced price of 20 instead of 30, which is what these guys would have to pay for it. Here, that's where I'm at. These guys would have to pay 30 per sheep because we don't have the perk of better deals right yeah this is the tariff okay so now we can get it to these guys for 20 apiece because we're doing it in-house and then you will need a person and we'll start uh, we'll start running sheep over here so that's how i am going to deal with livestock trading livestock insider trading yeah okay i just deleted a window and now everything went green Click. Click. Um. Should I be worried? I don't know. It's not supposed to do this. Let's click a marketplace. and see if I can... There we go. Undo all that. It acted like I was hovering my mouse right there. Interesting. So, over in here... Clothing is down a little bit. I think it's because we're getting more level 2s. And they're now getting more picky. So the more of these we have the more difficult it's going to be to maintain 100. That is a thing. Food variety over here is huge. Well, it was. Okay. Now we have three items. Uh-huh. So we're, we're starting to drop. Um, click away. Right click. No, nope, I got to do that. So little by little, we'll, we'll, we will continue to increase the food supply in all three of them as we continue to grow. Um, we are milling we still have grain in the system We're making flour making lots of breads you guys communal oven right there i don't think we have a town or do we one two three four that we will end up getting the bakery in not sure about that what else needs to be done here we're not going to get into metal over here the other two are doing it so it comes down to Either wildlife management sort of thing or agriculture sort of thing. So in that case, the bakery makes sense. You I will not. Though I am I would imagine this could be done without that. You just have to have some sheep present. But I just don't see going to the trouble. Rather, we'll just have a, a gob of fields and we'll just we'll always have something that's that's been followed and fertilized back up. Irrigation, I'm hearing that there are problems with it and there's no need for rye. So bakeries is a yes. Is there anything else that's important? I, we're not going to be buying in a lot of foreign stuff, so that's not a thing. We're not going to be dealing with any of these unless we did charcoal. That's probably not a thing. So it comes down to, it could be candle making. Advanced beekeeping, just to see what it's like. Yeah. So, bakeries, and then candle making over here. That's probably a thing. I added more families to the apiaries. Now, the apiaries could very well not function in the winter. I don't think it does in real life either. So, that's probably a thing there. So, we would we'll probably never be overwhelmed with honey. Because we after 20, we're sending it out. And 20 is not enough to hold us through the winter. So we'll always have waves of honey in and out. Okay.
Now, as far as clothing variety over here, we need to make sure we've got the weaver up and going. Malt house, saw pit, what am I thinking of? Weaver, weaver, weaver. You are around the corner over here. Weaver and die. So we got one family in here with nothing going on. Why is that? We have 226 flax. Why is there nothing going on? We have some linen people you are transporting so you are transporting flax and the other one is pedaling and the other one's over here transporting flax it's probably worth it to put two families in this one at least until we get into berry season and we need to find families to steal but yeah let's get two families in there get that going and otherwise linen in the system nine so we're barely keeping up with the tailor which is doing what these days you are making clothes because we still have plenty of gamisons though we are starting to use those up too cloaks we don't have any yarn yet that's not a thing so you're making clothes and you could be making it fast enough to be sending it out to everybody else well that's not necessarily true. I guess if we had the weavers really ramped up, maybe two different weavers. Okay, boy, do I put another one in? I wanted to save some families. Can I raid anybody? There's not still somebody in a farmhouse threshing. So that's not a thing. Oh, it is a thing. Okay. You're transferring over to the communal oven. Uh, weaver. Right there. Okay, so we'll get three of you going. And transporting flax at a much faster rate. Okay, so that will help out. So you guys can be doing that. My thought was, okay, then how about Gandalf could be making something out of wool. Or as Samwise is making stuff out of linen. But we probably don't have a lot of wool over here yet either. Well, we have 60 yarn now. It's been slowly building up. It's not going to last long. But we could tell our tailor shop to swap over to cloaks just to have fun with that. How much dye? Uh, 90 die. Okay. Uh, zero herbs over here. We're not selling them outside to foreign traders. Zero herbs over here. And over here, zero herbs. So we have used every herb. Well, I take it back. Total herbs. Are you guys stored in, like, a f the food stalls? Zero. Zero. And zero. Still no herbs. Okay. So the herbs are, in fact, being used by the population as they get sick. And we've seen them in a very early episode hit people. And one would have a red mark over here and say, I don't know if it said sick or disease or something like that. I'm not sure what it was. But they were out of commission. So the herbs, they take that and then they're back to working again. So we don't have any herbs anywhere. Which is why I wanted... Maybe I do want a third forager hut. And that's right, I need to talk about the hunting camps over there. Because they kind of got into the berries a bit, I think. Um, let's quickly gather... And berries. We tried this last time and couldn't put one in there. It was so close. But let's put you in over here. Here? Here? That road doesn't mean anything, so you can be right up against it. Okay, let me get above. I need to see this better. You're over there, and it's like that. Okay, you, let's get pushed up there high so we can get that many more herb gardens set up. Wait a minute, did I already? I already. It's right there. I did do it. Okay, never mind. Just, just erase that. Okay, I, yeah. Um, animals? You're still here? Ooh. Oh, they're over here. there's one. There's one. We haven't hunted you into extinction. No. 13. Where are the animals? So I'm seeing one deer. Have you roamed a little bit? Over here. No, the one was right there. I interesting. So they seem to have, there we go. I think I, my mouse went off into my second screen and freaked the game out. To 
Just kind of roaming through the woods here. And there's another one way over here. Oh, they are truly migrating around. Actually, I think that is cool. I think others are calling this a bug or something, but I think it's great. Deer shouldn't be contained to a little area and be predictable. You should have to go find them. That's, that's the way it works in the real world. So, do we still have this? Where am I? Gandalf. I have no idea where I'm at. Uh, spin around that way. Okay. Do we still have this herd hanging out here in, out in the, in the open, which was so strange? That's not their natural behavior. Nope, we don't. Um, did they move back now that I took the roads away? This is the area. And no deer. Okay, so that didn't happen. What I did notice, though, when I was editing last time, or the time before, one of them, um, you're still in the right place? Yeah, you're there. There's the original hunting camps. As I was placing these, I didn't realize how close I came to the berry bushes. Look at that. I, was, I noticed as I was placing the last one, I must have passed the uh, it by them, and I saw the red bushes in, while I was editing, and realized, oh man, because it doesn't give you a warning. You just you just stomp on them and they're gone. But I think 64 is our base number, and we still have it. So we we lucked out. I, by chance, I didn't destroy our berries over here. And they don't just relocate like the deer. You destroy them, you've destroyed them. Um, deer, where did you guys land? And I probably need to be wrapping this up soon, but I am kind of curious. So, originally I found them all the way out. Huh. Oh, there they are. They are still out in the open. Yeah, and there are so many of them. Because it takes them so long to go get them now. I think that's what it's coming down to. We are 40 of... 44? 40 of 40 right now. Okay, and meat. We are... 250. We are sending it out through the trader. I almost think like we, we need to get another hunting camp much further away. It kind of looks that way. So, out the King's Road, out this road. Let's do something out over here. and You're going to be too steep in this. This whole area is going to be too steep. It really is. And we've got to send the... Yeah, that's a problem. I'd rather they drug the deer back. Because then we've got to send all of our, our uh, granary workers. Where's our granary here? These guys are going to have to go empty the hunting camps. Way out over there and it's not going to work. Well, yeah, it, it just won't work. Okay. You guys are taking so long to get the meat in here that the granary workers are able to maintain because I took you back out again right yeah okay so that is working so I did want two more tier threes can I do it now yep you and you and one more just to finish off the street here and this street's going to be done this one's going to be done we'll get more houses into here soon do I set that up can I set that up that's how much timbers of nope that's not Seven timber. Let's set up some more uh, level one plots in here. So we can kind of finish our main drag. So you're there. I don't think we need two streets. Though it seems like something else should be right here. So let's start you here. And doubles or not? Let's do the doubles. So what's it take to get three doubles in here? You to there. To there. Let's go a little further up like that. That's pretty good. That's the manor. So that's as close as I dare. So there and minus. That gives me... You're in the way, but I think there's only two doubles and a single in there. Okay, pull back. Let's go out to here, but come short. What is that sort of thing, Dale? And I, know I can't minus. Okay, pull back to here. There we go. Now, still not doubles. I think that'll have to be good enough. So, I'll go back to the original plan. You're there, and you're across, like that, and minus. So, doubles, single, double, and there'll be this archway kind of in between where there weren't double houses. All right, we'll take you 
get you built. And I'm actually nearing the end of this episode. So we've done a lot of building over here in, in Gandalf. We have what over here? We got a lot of things upgrading. And over in Gandalf, we got a lot of chickens set. We could probably set some more chickens over here. 1,200 in funds. And Gandalf, 1,500 in funds. And Gimli, 286. So it does come in. It does. Gandalf is holding their own without... I don't know if I'm even using the pack system anymore. Let's kind of verify that. I've kind of... In fact, I could probably sell off the mules if this is not something we're going to use anymore. Samwise is getting... Getting helmets for... For bread. Let's take a family out of there. Let's not do that anymore. You are Gimli Shields for Dive. But you're not a family. Okay. And no family in there. And... Pack station. No family. No family. No family. Okay. So those are all done. And I'm going to abandon the pack station system for a while. Just run the trading and see how that goes. Uh, Gimli, now that you've got money, do you have you built up your food supply? Uh, seven eggs and berries and meats. You're still going. Okay. So I think I'm going to call it done here. You kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. Just kind of growing everything up and making sure that their industries are set. Um, Industry-wise over here, 22 iron slabs and 90 iron ore. So those numbers are, are evening out a little bit. We are using up the iron ore faster, but we are finally making some more slabs. And that will continue to bring in our, our helmets. And what are we making here? We shut you down, didn't we? No, we set you up to something that we can sell for it for an income. Okay, which is important too. I think our, our weapons are pretty good out there in the other two uh, provinces. We are 31s. We have plenty of war bows. And that's just, an, um, that's just people. So we need another 10 families and we'll have this all maxed out. Then we're, we'll be able to go and do something. All right, so I'm going to call this one done here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.